Hey, I'm Amir Zafar. I'm with Adolescent Content, and you're watching Native NYC. And today, we're in Bedside. And I'm Xavier, also known as Internet X. I'm a stylist and creative producer, and today we're gonna eat at Peaches. So what are we eating today? I got a shrimp po' boy. I got the chicken and toast. That was just the sexiest thing on the menu for me. Yeah, we can just end it right here. I'm just gonna eat right <laughs> So Peaches is a place that I used to come a lot with my family. It was very like, it's very reminiscent of my childhood. Growing up in New York is really amazing because I had a lot of access to a lot of things like at an early age. What do you love about the New York City fashion scene? I love to see like how different people interpreted fashion yeah. and like how it just, it was like this different thing to all these different types of people. And I feel like in New York, that's one of the only places that you get that. A lot of other places like, the style is like the style there. Yeah. How do you think it's evolved since you've grown up? I feel like people are more like bold in their yeah, statements. I think the same word, bold. Because um, like, you know, a lot more is accepted obviously since 10 years back. Um, I feel like also though, with like the rise of like apps like TikTok and like stuff like that and like influencers, I feel like style is also decreasing in a way. Because I feel like a lot of people are very are like trend based. Yeah. yeah, and a lot of people don't have real personal style but then even like personal style becomes like becomes like quote unquote like franchised or becomes yeah. like mainstream yeah. because they're like selling it to people nah I get That's that I get that when you pull up to the party and everyone's wearing sambas yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> trends like that what do you think <laughs> you bring into your work that sets you apart from others I feel like I bring authenticity. I, I was telling you earlier that like everything that I've done or I'm doing in my life is like something that I've done growing up. And I feel like that's made my work super authentic and super like true and almost like easy to me because it's sort of the things that I have done when I was younger. Like I've always been into style from when I was like, I don't know, like young as like elementary school. I've always <laughs> been into fashion. Like even when, when I was wearing wasn't like visually appealing, it was still very thought out. Like okay. I was always like very calculated with fashion. Um, so I feel like that's what makes me super unique that everything that I do is something that I've been doing already. Um, and it's like true to me. Like even how now I have a show where I um, interview people and I like style people. The first thing that I ever did like when I was growing up and being creative was I had a, a YouTube channel well, I would literally style my friends like oh, at different damn. stores around the okay. city. So I was like doing that, and then that transpired into doing an actual production and making it like the show that I do now. So my show is called Talking to the Internet, and it's an interview series based around creatives who work in the entertainment industry. And it's a really cool show. I love it because I'm like literally giving back to people. I'm creating a resource for people, and also like the bigger point of the show is I was telling you that I dropped out of college, yeah, and just in trying to find like where I am now or where I'm heading toward. And not having college education doing that, I feel like there were a lot of, like, I'm very savvy in the sense that I had a few connections to people that I was able to really milk those resources and create opportunities for myself. But I feel like a lot of people aren't necessarily that privileged when it comes to resource. So I feel like I wanted to create a resource that if there was a kid like me who dropped out of college or even went to college and just didn't have the resource or didn't even know what their first steps were going to be to try to create this like career i created a resource for that so that was like the show that's playing the show and that's why i love it so much and also i love it because it's going to lead to a lot more things and a lot more opportunities for other people and yeah so xavier what's the fit like today tell me about it uh the fit is calm today i always love like a wide like pant because it's comfortable i always have to be comfortable uh got these from zara i got this a brand sent this to me from amsterdam shout out to the farm I got this from a thrift store, and I got these shoes from the same thrift store. I'm fit. Okay, okay. So, how do you feel about my fit, though? I feel like your fit is calm. It's giving very tight beastie. <laughs> I like the cardigan. Okay. It's calm. The pants, I like the design on the sides. I wish it was a little bit more wide, but the design on the sides is, like, really tight. So, okay, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it, yeah. <laughs>